Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 8 raised to the power x minus 8 minus 8 raised to the power y minus 8 equals to 4095. From here, we can rewrite this from the law of indices and this will be 8 raised to the power x divided by 8 raised to the power 8. From the law of indices, when we subtract the power, that means we have division of a number of the same base then we have minus also from here we have 8 raised to the power y then divided by 8 raised to the power 8 from here which is equal to 4095 this follows from the law of indices and in the next step we can find the LCM here so when we take the LCM on this side this gives us 8 raised to the power 8 and uh, we still have 8 raised to the power x minus 8 raised to the power y, which is equal to 4095 from here. Next, uh, we can cross multiply this over 1 here. So when 8 raised to the power x minus 8 raised to the power y multiply 1, we still have 8 raised to the power x minus 8 raised to the power y, which is equal to 8 raised to the power 8 multiplied by 4095 and uh, in the next step we can see this number we subtract and this gives us a number greater than zero it implies that x is greater than y from here which means that we can write x as y plus a number a constant that is k plus y we can write x as k plus y then we can rewrite this equation in terms of k and y and this will be 8 raised to the power k plus y instead of x here we write k plus y then minus 8 raised to the power y equals to 8 raised to the power 8 times 4095 then in the next step we can also separate this and uh, this can be written as 8 raised to the power k times 8 raised to the power y then minus 8 raised to the power y which is equals to 8 raised to the power 8 times 4095 from here then in the next step we have 8 raised to the power y common let's take it out we have 8 raised to the power y out then what we have here is 8 raised to the power k then minus 1 which is equals to 8 raised to the power 8 times 4095 then 8 raised to the power y is even here then 8 raised to the power 8 is also even so we can equate even to even and this is odd here and also this number here is also odd 4095 is also odd then when we equate that we now have 8 raised to the power y will be equals to 8 raised to the power 8 and also 8 raised to the power k minus 1 is equals to 4095 from here then when we solve on this side we have same base we can say from here that y equals to 8 and uh, also on this side we can take minus 1 there and this will be 8 raised to the power k equals to 4096 now because it will be plus 1 then we can write this in base 8 as well so 8 raised to the power k will now be equal to 8 raised to the power 4 so from here k equals to 4 and since x equals to k plus y and we've gotten y to be 8 so we can then say that x will now be equal to 4 plus 8 so x here is equal to 12 then the solution to this problem will then be x comma y now will then be equal to 12 8 also we can check from the equation given we can check if this solution is correct from this equation given here we have 8 raised to the power x minus 8 and from here we have x to be 12 so we can say 8 raised to the power 12 now minus 8 then minus 8 raised to the power y we got that to be 8 
then minus 8 is this equals to 4095 then when we check from here we have 12 minus 8 that's 4 that's 8 raised to power 4 minus we have 8 raised to power 0 because 8 minus 8 is 0 is this giving us 4095 from here then when we check from here we discover that this 8 raised to power 4 is 4096 then 8 raised to power 1 8 raised to power 0 is 1 then is this equal to 4095 when we subtract 1 from here we discover that this will give us 4095 then equals to 4095 so both left hand side and right hand side are equal then we can conclude that the solution to this problem is therefore 12 and 8 thank you for watching please share these videos and also give a thumbs up thank you see you in the next class and bye for now.